Hey everyone, it's Rich here. Um, doing a new video and spliced together a bunch of stuff um, covering uh, doing some maintenance on my aquaponic system. Um, it's winter solstice, so I'm starting a bunch of seeds for my 2015 grow season. Um, I'm going to cover my seed starting process, germinate, germination methods, um, you know, just a kind of blend of things, educational of sorts. If, uh, if you're into the heavy metal, hot stuff, and horticulture, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm probably going to be adding a whole lot of new things and new materials to it. I have a wide range of hobbies, um, so, you know, uh, keep on watching, and in this video, uh, you know, probably specifically pepper germination can be difficult for some people, so I'll show my method of doing it. It's not terribly difficult uh, if you're educated about it, so um, I'll go over that in this video. And then at a later video, I'll show some of my uh, progress with seedlings and uh, some of my overwintered plants, things like that. So. All right. As you can see, I've got quite a uh, large canopy on this pepper plant here. It's a seven pot. Um, it's supposed to be bubblegum, but I don't know whether it actually is or not because it is flowering and budding and blooming like crazy. But as you can see, I'm kind of yellowish browning. Um, it's in nitrate lockout. See all those, all that crap that just dropped off of it, and that's because. Carp are very dirty, oily fish, and I don't have enough plants still to absorb the nitrogen out of the water. So my pepper plants are getting nitrogen burned. See this one, uh, it's got some dead spots. Um, hey, I actually do have a pepper here. So. I'm, what I'm going to do is give them a good trim so they'll keep growing. It's one thing they will do, but they're not fruiting very well. Alright, so gotten my pruning done. And it's the same same two plants here. You can see I got them cut down. And, uh, I did find one pepper on here that was buried deep on the inside and it had literally hundreds of flowers on it. it has been flowering for six months and has one pepper on it so and does not look like a bubblegum seven pot so whatever it is um, we'll give it another chance um, now, all I did was use your regular old garden shears, and you see each of these nodes right there, each place where it forks, I want to leave those, That's, those are where the, uh, the new growth is going to come from, each of, each of the nodes on here. Sometimes they fork, sometimes they don't, but I left a little bit of foliage on there. Um, just to help it with its photosynthesis, but all of the nitrates um, The plants gonna love that now Because all it, now all it's gonna want to do is put out new leaves. So uh, does it hurt the plant when I prune it? Well um, if you believe that Plants can feel yeah, it might hurt a little but it's actually healthy for the plant in the long run um, And as an example I'll show you my overwinters all right, as you can see, these are my overwintered plants. Well, some of them I have some more upstairs. Huh. 
my channel gnome. All right, so these were, I, I had pruned these down basically naked when I brought them in. And uh, the reason I did that was to, to help prevent aphids from getting in my house, which I have done a damn good job of this year. And uh, as you can see, they're putting on new growth. And peppers are perennials. They can live several years in the right conditions. And this big guy here has just started putting off new leaves. And uh, well, all of, all of these are uh, going to be going into their second year, and they're going to be massive producers. Um, all of them were massive producers in their first year, other than a couple of them. But uh, they're pretty healthy. Um, no aphids. And, uh, you know, just water them less. And they go s dormant or semi-dormant. Um, I think these are just slower because they're in smaller pots. I'm not entirely sure. But they are alive. And, uh, you know, I intend to keep them alive um, all the way through next grow season. So, um, next I'll go into seed germination. Which is going to be a long, drawn-out process. But, uh, you know, as far as pertaining to the aquaponics that I was showing you, I'll, I'll make a video at a later time and show you the progress of, uh, of those plants that I just pruned. Alright, composting. That's all the clippings from the pruning that I just did. Alright, I was being quiet in that uh, previous shot because it's not quite dark yet and uh, some people hunting out there. I don't want to mess them up too much, but I'm about to clean my swirl filter, so let me unplug the pump here. Alright, and basically, I'm use that same bucket take this, just your standard gravel pump for an aquarium, and uh, if you're curious as to how my aquaponics system works, there is another video that kind of explains it, but I'm going to suck the poop and whatever else is out of here. get a siphon going and uh, oh, there it comes yep see all the brown stuff that's all the poop that was that's being uh, filtered out from the fish um, that's gonna help reduce the amount of nitrates in my water and uh, this is basically fish emulsion, um, fish manure, whatever in the world you want to call it, but it is great stuff for plants, and it is getting dumped into uh, the raised bed in the back. Alright, so I've done that. I dumped the, uh, the waste in the back in the raised bed and now I want to make sure that I replace um, the amount that I took out maybe more which this is a little more than I got out of it back into the system of water 
and I don't use city water, I have well water. So I don't have to let it sit and get the chlorine and crap out of it. Um, it should not be chlorinated, so I don't have to wait 24 hours. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dump this right over in with the fish. And uh, as far as the fish go, um, you can actually see the bottom of the tank now. Um, I had a couple of them die on me. Um, composted those as well. But uh, the water quality is much better. Um, nitrates are lower. Um, and that's one of the main reasons why I think it's going to be beneficial to have these pruned. So, um, up next I'll have pepper germination methods, which is, uh, I may actually do that in a separate video, but, um, you know, for now, I uh, hope you uh, were able to, to get something from my video here. So uh, I'll go ahead and put the germination um, in a different video so you don't have to watch all of this stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.